Well, just size governs everything that an organism can do. It's really the most important factor, and, and it boils down to this. We're sort of three-dimensional beings, and all, all organisms are, and they have an area and they have a volume. And when, when you get bigger or smaller, those, the ratio of those two things changes, and that governs what you're allowed to do. So elephants can't dance, they can't jump, and insects can walk on water. Again, surface to volume ratio. That's amazing. I mean, we'll pick an example. A simple example is, is how you cope with a fall. Yes. I mean, I don't know if anyone here has fallen any distance, but I thought I'd show you a, a quick demo about, about why it really doesn't matter how big you are as to whether you survive or not. So we've got balloons with ballistic jelly in them. Now, what's ballistic jelly? It's uh, like a jelly that you make for a children's party, but it's slightly stronger, and it's actually designed to replicate the flesh of the human body or a mammal. Give me a parallel of what animal we we're talking about here. That, that, let's say that's a hamster. OK, so here goes the hamster, and... The hamster's fine. Hamster's fine. The hamster's grand, the it's hamster has survived. Around, it's jumping, it's totally fine. We can even see the hamster in slow motion. Can we? we? Can see the hamster. Yes, we can. Great. Yeah. She'll so be on the screen here. Here's a hamster. <laughs> wow. I'm not saying the hamster's going to be the better of that. <laughs> yeah. So it did look like a bit where the hamster turned entirely inside out uh, and then reformed as a different kind of hamster. Yeah. OK, Grant, so let's move up the scale. As soon as you get bigger, even though you're made of the same stuff, we're made of flesh and bones, okay. and essentially the design is the same in terms of our body plan... Now, this is like the size of a, of a medium-sized dog, let's say, right? Yeah, OK. Like you many people would have received a Christmas and loved for the rest of their lives. They uh, would have. Now, and now we're going to drop them, I'm right? sure no-one here or at home is going to do this. And, OK, fine. But right, so, let's see what would happen if you did. OK, Grant. Let's... OK, and... Oh! That is not what we expected to happen fine. there, is it, Mark? <laughs> It's totally fine. I would say that that is, in scientific terms, a negative result. Uh, yes, that it is. is. Let's drop the dog one more time. And do you know what? We're going to carry on dropping this dog. Are we? Yeah. Are we? Okay. Yeah, drop this dog until he does exactly what he was I trained think to do. I should go to one higher step. There. Okay, Grant. Now here we go. Here we go with the dog. <laughs> oh. 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 You're, you're applauding, but this is essentially what would happen to any of us who fell off, you know, a building yes. or anything like that. I mean, we, we're not... Due to our size, we're not going to survive large falls, and yet small animals can. Right, let's have a look at a replay of this. I want to see this happen oh, yeah. in slow hey. motion. You were just waiting to say that, weren't you? Oh, That's what you were going... No, 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 I, I, I want to see something. because I want to see this. Yeah. There he goes. Woof! Woof! Gone. Oh, oh wow! No, he did he the split same. that there, yeah. yeah. So what can I safely drop from this height here? Uh, you mean in terms of... Well, what, give me a living thing to draw. Well, OK. Uh, that's, that, that was um, a pointed reference to these cockroaches, I yes, think. Yes, yeah. And these so, are so these should be fine. Quite. Look at that. I mean, they're, they're much lighter than, than our little uh, yeah. hamster. You want to do this? Anyone to pick these up and go anywhere near them? No, neither do I. Because, uh, <laughs> actually, when you do try to pick oh, them up... On. When you pick them up, they get really antsy uh, and start <laughs> twiddling their little legs. I think they might be like horses, darling. They need a firm hand. Right, you just sort of you whack it in there, you're like, right, let's go. Oh, oh you're right, you're right. Oh, there we go. There we go. All oh, right, good for you. No, now. put it back in. I'm not what? touching it. What's your name? Uh, <laughs> Come on, darling. No, 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 put it in back oh. in. I have, I have a technique worked out for this. Oh, you have a okay. Yeah, I do, yeah. Right. Oh, look, it's like it's like it's 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 <laughs> Oh, I'm going to pop them like a, like a pancake. Actually, you know, I have. OK, tell me about them. So there's two huge cockroaches. They should be fine at this point. Yeah, even though they're huge cockroaches, they've got a very high surface to volume ratio. They are going to hit the floor. And this will show you something else about surface volume ratio, I hope. OK, fine. Well, here we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Oh, no, you're sliding. You're sliding away. No. Uh, oh! <laughs> but they're fine. So, so actually, the, uh, there's another issue about surface volume ratio. It's not just the pressure on the ground to do with the weight. And so it's also the air resistance. So in that drop, for something as small as that, the air resistance was appreciable. And that's to do with how much area you present.